Facebook and Twitter have special portals where the government could request that they take down certain information. This is the government controlling your speech. And it should be no surprise, of course, this is what governments have always done. Now they just call it dangerous disinformation, and now they have the technological ability to do it. There's no such thing as solutions, only trade-offs. Out of all the things I've learned from Thomas Sowell, that's maybe the most important, maybe the most life-changing in every aspect of life. There's no such thing as solutions, only trade-offs. And every new technology has convenience, of course, but also has trade-offs. And very often the trade-off is your freedom. I'll give you the ultimate example here, self-driving cars. I was wrong about self-driving cars. I would, when self-driving cars first, came, the idea of them first came out, I looked at it and I was like, that's unbelievable, like, that's a life changer. If self-driving cars ever become a thing, it would be right up there with the, with the railroad in transforming how people live. You could live now, if self-driving cars came out, you could live three hours away from your work or something. And a three hour trip, what is today three hour trip would take like 45 minutes and you could work in the back seat or sleep in the back seat of this car that takes you where you wanna go. Like, like the time efficiency would be as dramatic as the invention of a train instead of taking your covered wagon on the Oregon Trail. It's a stunning technological leap. But is the infringement on your freedom worth it? You decide if it is. I think most people will choose the convenience, which is what made me second guess my original answer, which was it was worth it. When I was balancing the trade-off, I thought the convenience was worth the freedom. I don't know if it is. Imagine if we already had self-driving cars when COVID happened. So when the government said, stay home, they didn't have the power to stop you really. But what if they did? What if they had the power to make it impossible for you to travel? They just turn your car off. <laughs> they turn your car off for everyone's safety. How about that? They don't have that ability with the combustible engine. They would if everyone was driving self-driving cars. So is the trade-off worth it? Oh, you crazy conspiracy theorists. Okay. They literally told you, don't go to church. Love your neighbor. Love your neighbor, don't go to church. Love your neighbor, don't go to school. Love your neighbor, wear a mask. Still today, you have to wear masks in hospitals, even though the CDC came out and said that that's ridiculous, you don't need to do this anymore. They didn't say it's ridiculous. They said there's no need to do it anymore, but still hospitals mandate it. My, my wife's gonna give birth any day now. They're probably gonna make us wear masks in the hospital. What? I don't even know if they're gonna let me in the hospital if I'm unvaccinated. So love your neighbor though, love your neighbor. Don't leave your house. Love your neighbor, we've turned your car off, we've locked your car, unless you're an essential worker, of course, and we're the ones who decide. Gotta love your neighbor. The governor of California, Gavin Newsom, he has billboards in red states across the country saying, come to California to get an abortion. And it literally has Mark 12, 31 on it. Love your neighbor as yourself. It's in little letters in the bottom there. It says, love your neighbor as yourself. Get an abortion, love your neighbor. And that's how they're gonna take away your freedom of speech.